Although by the start of the Industrial Revolution, most European nations had given up serfdom, in Russia it was still very much alive. After Catherine the Great became Empress of Russia in 1762, a series of peasant revolts broke out throughout the country. In 1773, these revolutions culminated in Pugachev's rebellion. When Catherine came into power, she reinforced the nobles' authority over the peasants. In 1767, she decreed the peasants were no longer allowed to petition her directly. This, combined with bad harvests and epidemics such as a large outbreak of the bubonic plague in Moscow in 1771, led to severe unrest amongst Russia's lower classes. A former lieutenant from the Russian army by the name of Yemelyan Pugachev pretended to be the late Tsar Peter III and rallied the serfs into rebellion, specifically the Cossacks of the Urals. Pugachev began building up a replica of the Russian government in the style of St. Petersburg. In his government, however, all members of the military were given the role of free Cossacks, as were all peasants. As almost all of Pugachev's followers were Cossacks, this is sometimes referred to as the Cossack Rebellion. Eventually, Pukachev's influence spread to the serfs and factory workers throughout all of Russia. In 1773, Pukachev led the first attack on a Russian town. The rebels quickly claimed territory throughout all of southern Russia. Catherine the Great thought of Pukachev as a joke, refusing to take him seriously. And it wasn't until 1774 that the Russian government actually struck back. By September, Pugachev was defeated. He was executed publicly in Moscow in January of the following year. In the end, the revolt did more to hurt the Cossacks than help them, as Catherine retaliated by severely weakening their political powers. Although the rebellion was short and ended up in a decisive victory for the Russian Empire, the ideas Pugachev incited were not so quick to die out. Almost 150 years later, the Russian Revolution used Pugachev as one of many symbols for a revolt against the Tsars and the upper class. And, like many other old Russian heroes, Pugachev's noble ideas of ending the serfdom and granting liberty to the Russian people would be perverted for propagandic use by the communists. Nonetheless, Pugachev's name lives on as a hero of old Russia and of the Cossacks. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm Matthew, and I hope I'll see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye, oh, where's the dear baby dear from your eye? Though it's hard to pass, I know, I know, I'll be sick of the death to go, don't cry, don't die. There's a silver lining in the sky, once more, oh, sing, cheerio, chin, chin, now.